Before we get started, I wanted to remind you, if you haven't gone to the Firearms Nation podcast, stop what you're doing right now, go to iTunes or whatever podcatcher that you use, and sign up for the Firearms Nation podcast. Hey, it's Arik from Firearms Nation, and today, Nation, I've got a rifle! So you're probably wondering why I have a rifle. Normally, we're, we're talking about handgun shooting, but I never said that this was only going to be about handguns. No, in fact, we can talk about rifles, we can talk about long guns, we can talk about shotguns. It doesn't matter. It's all part of making you a better shooter so you can protect yourself, your family, and go have fun with your gun. Shoot a competition. Go hunting. Practice. It's all Good. So today I have a rifle because this is actually going to be a gear review of the Viking Tactics Bungie Sling or VTAC Bungie Sling. Now Viking Tactics is the brainchild of Kyle Lamb, Sergeant Major Kyle Lamb, who is an awesome dude, great American, has a, a video series where he goes out hunting, he does stuff with 511. He also has a new podcast. Imagine that. He is one of the best, most prolific trainers we have out there. And in his mind, he's come up with these great products. And one of them is the bungee sling. Wait a second. Stop. Did I say bungee sling? Bungees are so 2006. I recall back in 2006 when at least we first got rifles at uh, our department. Uh, the only options were basically a three-point sling or a single-point sling, and that single-point sling had a bungee on it. And if you will do another video one time about sling selection, but a bungee sling kind of hangs there with that bungee, it's flopping all around, and it's a big pain in the you-know-what. Once they came out with the two-point sling, everybody went to a two-point sling. Two-point slings are great, and you can see I got a bunch of slings, tons of slings. But the reason why I'm talking about a bungee sling today is recently I told you I took that class with Benny Cooley and Benny is the man. Uh, if you get a chance to train with him or to listen to anything he has to say, do it. He is not only a great world champion shooter in mostly three gun, but precision rifle, handgun, he is a tactical guy too, and he goes out and does a lot of amazing training. So in that class, he was running a two-point bungee sling, and of course, I asked him, why? Why are we going back to bungees? I don't like bungees, bungees are horrible. And he told me why. He said, first of all, we have the benefit of the two-point sling, and we have the one strap where we can tighten it, and then we also have the 550 cord on the uh, ladder lock where we can unlock it if we need to go into any type of, you know, shooting where I need to switch to the other side, right? We can do all sorts of things and for your benefit, this is a empty gun, no magazine in the magwell. So I like having the ability to two point swing, you can do a lot with it. And when I'm just sitting here, it's at a good even weight distribution across my back. I can do what I need to do, and if I need to go hands-on or climb or do anything, I just tighten it really tight. Now, with the standard two-point sling in this position, this is it. It is not moving off my body, and you can see it's pretty solid. I can do whatever I need to do. I can throw it over my shoulder if I have to. But, guys and gals, the benefit of the bungee is, even in this uh, tight configuration here, I can still bring it up and take a shot. Can't do that with a regular two-point sling. But here, I can bring it up. I can bring it up and look, it is a very, very taut, tight position here. And you know what? When I'm shooting offhand at 100 yards, 150 yards, I want to have the most stability I can. I don't want to have a lot of movement. But here, this is tight. That is a win-win in my book. So once again, you know, I can throw it on my shoulder. I can do what I need to do with it. It's just like any other two-point sling. All right, so let's get into the VTAC bungee sling. So for comparison, I have the Armageddon gear bungee sling just to uh, show the differences in 
pretty much the, the two bungee slings, two point bungee slings that are out there. There's the Armageddon gear logo. So comes in a nice little package, typical at the VTAC, VTAC, BGS, I guess that's for bungee sling and coyote tan would be the color. This also comes in black. And when you open it up, we got the sling itself. We'll put that there. And we have uh, the instructions on how to uh, install the sling and then how to mount it. And then of course, VTAC gives us two stickers that we can use, uh, kind of like this one. I don't know really what I'm looking at, kind of like that uh, Native American, or maybe it's Vikings, because uh, Kyle likes Vikings. Anyways, uh, two stickers, two stickers for you rather, that you can place next to your gun. So let's put those aside, put the bag aside, and the instructions will kind of muddle through it. Uh, but I like the instructions because a lot of people, you know, one of the things that I've seen on range is that people don't know how to mount their slings properly. Uh, so they have it all here. And then of course there is always YouTube, which is, I don't know, a non-accredited university, YouTube university. Uh, many people have learned stuff from YouTube. I wonder why. So we look at the sling and look at the comparisons. Uh, you know, both of these, the, the VTAC comes in at 44. No, I'm sorry. The Armageddon gear comes in at $44. The VTAC gear comes in surprisingly cheaper at $40. And I, I really don't understand why that is. Uh, my preference is, is for the VTAC sling versus the Armageddon. And I really like this sling. I actually got this sling first. Um, and then there were some things with it that bothered me. So I immediately went to the VTAC because I had the VTAC before. And I will show you that, how much, where I got out of that. So here you can see, let's switch this away. Here you can see, I mean, this thing was once coyote tan and now it's kind of like coyote black. Just just from the, the, the sweating and exposure to oils and whatever. But this was the problem. You know, I really like the sling for its components not so much the functionality. You know, I like these covers for the fry glides. I liked this loaded, it's spring loaded. Um, I like that ability. You know, it was it was definitely, you knew that you were gonna uh, undo it quickly because you had this, this spring here and you didn't have to worry about it afterwards, which, you know, and it's metal. And that's where, you know, this stuff comes in handy. And then finally, you know, just uh, this, this leather pull tab. At first, I really liked it. You know, it's very functional to grab hold of it. At the end, this just became too much to handle. But that was the whole thing. The, the sling itself is great. The craftsmanship, of course, is great. But this pad, we're talking about a AR-15 rifle or M4 variant. It's not that heavy. It's, it's, it's not a saw and these are for heavy machine guns. So now that we you know, have two point slings that are ubiquitous everywhere, that's my five cent word for today. You don't need that. You don't need that padding. It just gets in the way. It got in the way when I was transitioning from shoulder to shoulder. So let's take a look at the, the Viking Tactic bungee sling. I, you know, the sling comes with, without these cuties. I think you can order them if you want. I've, I've had these for years. And when I say QDs, I'm talking about these, these parts right here. These are uh, quick detach swivels, right? Since it swivels and it's got this button that you press. And if you can see, these, these little ball bearings go in and out. I guess there's something holding them there. Uh, this locks it in to the, the QD hole on your buttstocks or on your rails. You have a rail attachment for it. And once it's locked in, uh, it's not gonna rotate. So you can put it in the exact position you want. It's easy to get the sling off. Most rifles, modern rifles coming now, the stocks already have these QD holes pre-built into the stock. So you don't have to worry about threading the, the webbing through and, and, and adjusting it. Now you can just plug this in and then do your adjustments quickly. So this is the, the, the end that goes into the rail, the front of the gun. 
And the nice thing and the first difference you notice between this and the Armageddon gear is that with the Armageddon gear, they, they only have one triglock. Uh, Viking Tactics or VTAC, they always include two triglides. Now you're asking why that just adds more weight. Not really. It's not adding that much more weight, several ounces perhaps. But what it's doing, it's, it's locking it in. You have less chances for the webbing, which can be slick to come undone. And the last thing that you want is to be moving with your rifle and that sling come out. So having two is just adding insurance. And then what I like to do, as you can see, obviously it didn't come this way. I'll, I'll re-loop through the tri-glide to lock it in. I mean, this just guarantees that this isn't gonna come undone. Also, it, it deals with having all that extra webbing. Uh, I also will cut and then use a little bit of a torch to, to melt the webbing because this way you don't have all that extra material. You know, the extra material gets caught on stuff. You don't need it. It flops around, especially if you have a longer sling. So as we work up, this is one of the nice things that Viking Tactics do is they have this Velcro, almost like a lock, you know, it locks it around. And when you're adjusting your sling and you have this material that's flying around, you don't want it flying around. Like I said before, instead of cutting stuff off and, and losing material, you can lock it actually to the sling, just like this. And this, this just stays there. So now you don't have it flopping around. This is what it looks like if it doesn't have it. And Armageddon gear, I am not trying to say that your sling is wrong. I'm just saying just from my standards, for what I like, I like to be able to lock this material in. Getting back to the VTAC sling, we're looking here, you know, we've got the, the VTAC logo right there. Nice big sword. This is where the major difference between the two slings that I really like, and that is with the, the, the ladder lock. This is what allows you to open and uh, quickly get your sling undone, you know, once you tightened it. And of course, this is much easier to do when it's on your body. Once you've tightened it now, you want to release it. You got to lift up on this ladder to get it to uh, extend. This is a very robust ladder. It's not as, as nice as the metal spring hinge that they had on the other, on the wide enhanced sling. But this ladder lock uh, is beefy. It comes with the hole in here, so they put some 550 core through. The Armageddon gear, it came without it. And what I did is I, I took my Dremel and I put a hole into here so I can run my own 550 core so I can open it. Otherwise, it's really hard to unlock it and extend when you're just trying to grab this little piece of material, especially under stress, under uh, moving quickly. You don't want to have to fiddle around to find it, to open it. You just want to grab that 550 cord and pull. So really nice. And this is, this is again, the craftsmanship. The stitching here, look at, look at this detailed stitching. Right, it is put around to a very nice uh, tight pattern. It's not gonna come undone. Now we get to the bungee part. And you can see that the, the majority of the sling that's gonna go around your body has this bungee material built in. You can feel it, it's nice. And the webbing itself is, it's, it's, it's a soft webbing. It's, it's not the softest webbing I've ever felt, but it, it's, it's comfortable against the skin. It's almost identical to the same with the Armageddon gear, but I do feel that there's, you know, the standard webbing just doesn't feel as nice as the, the Viking Tactics. So the budging comes up. Again, we get two tri-glides at the top portion of the sling. And of course I put my own QD. Overall, I'd say that the craftsmanship is there for Viking Tactics always. I think it's a great deal at $40 compared to you know, a couple more dollars, but maybe it's not available for you. I don't know. Can't go wrong having either kind of sling. And we'll get into why I think that is important. So I want to make it clear that this sling and the Armageddon sling were both slings that I purchased. I didn't ask to review them. 
I wanted to get these in my arsenal, so to speak, so I could use them. And as a byproduct, I decided that I would make a review of the Viking Tactics Two Point Sling. If you have to buy a sling, I, I'm very partial to Viking Tactics. I have previous Viking Tactics slings. I think they're good. And right now I'm pretty happy with this two point bungee sling. Join the nation.